Plant pathology is a study of uh, diseases in plants that are caused by different organisms or like pathogens or even with the physiological disorders. It includes in terms of pathogen, it includes fungi, bacteria, viruses and so many other organisms that can damage our day-to-day -day crops. Plant pathology is a field of study where we look into these interactions and try to manage these diseases and uh, make sustainable production of our agricultural crops. Well, plants get sick like people get sick, right? So that can be in the form of abiotic stress, so hail damage or nutrient deficiencies, but it can also be abiotic, so bacteria, viruses, fungi, or nematodes can cause plants to get sick, and, and plant pathologists are the people that study those diseases. Everything goes back to that disease triangle, right? You need to have a host, you need to have a pathogen, and you need to have the environment. So for plant pathology, we're trying to find out the interaction between the plant and the pathogen. In the same time, the pathogen with environment, that whatever that caused the disease. So the mechanism between plants and pathogens, or how to manage it, and what's the interaction. I think that's what we really want to study, and I think that is the beauty of plant pathology. If we think about the global challenges that we are facing, it's like one of the main is uh, climate change and food security. And plant pathology works very closely with both of these fields in terms of like sustaining our agricultural production and mitigating these adverse effects of changing climate. I think plant pathology is critical to the future of humanity with the 40% losses we can have in the five major food crops that are grown across the world caused by pathogens and pests, but we need to address pathology in a holistic way with um, an interdisciplinary team that is able to look at the problem from both the host and the pathogen's points of view. Plant pathology is a pretty broad field, so we have people that study agricultural crops like myself, so that can be really important for, well, in, in, in most places, ensuring food security, so making sure people have enough food, and, and that's why I got involved in plant pathology, right? But it's also securing rural livelihoods, so making sure farmers can pay their bills and feed their families, and, and that's really important. Um, there's also plant pathologists that study natural systems, so forests and, um, and prairies, and, and making sure that there aren't pathogens that ruin our landscapes. There's also making our, our streets and our homes nice and our golf courses nice, and, and there's plant pathologists that work in that area. So, so it's a pretty broad field with a lot of exciting challenges and, and room for a lot for anybody, really. My background is in chemistry, so I start to work my career. I start to study like numbers, elements, chemicals, and then uh, I started to work with plants. I kind of fell in love with plants and then I discovered pathogens that can interfere in plant systems and the environment. I decided to have my more, more information and more background in plant disease. That's why I started looking for places to pursue my PhD in plant pathology. What I've seen is like when I applied to uh, this school, I saw these different opportunities where I can get involved with. There were uh, applied research in various uh, research and education centers. Uh, there were like uh, uh, not only one crop, it was like multiple different cropping systems, uh, multiple different challenges. So I saw Florida as like uh, as a place where I can go and learn about, not only learn about like one thing, but learn about like a lot of different things, get involved into different uh, plant pathology research. So I didn't um, grow up on a farming background um, and I didn't grow up um, thinking I wanted to be a plant pathologist. I don't think most people do. But I started to do research in a lab that was studying the pathogen that caused the Irish potato famine. And then I realized like, wow, you can help a lot of people by helping to feed the world. Several things make uh, the UF plant pathology department unique. I think one thing that sets UF apart from many universities is that we are one of those rare institutions that actually has um, everything at one university. We have uh, the ag departments, ag programs, we're a land-grant institution, uh, but we also have a med school, and we also have a vet school, and we also have a law school, and it provides some really interesting opportunities to blend your skill sets and blend programs. So we have people who can look at plant pathology, but more in the context of social networks. And there are other people here who can tap into that and, and look at public health programs and modeling and um, do some really interesting combinations 
We have mycologists here who are looking at not just plant pathogenic fungi, but who also will be looking at animal pathogenic fungi and, and working with the vet school. So we have a, a lot of really interesting opportunities to combine um, academic areas and career paths. We also have a very broad climate range from purely tropical at the south end of the state to purely temperate at the top end of the state. We live in a state that has just a tremendous number of imports of all sorts. And between all of the introductions and the climate variability that we have from one end to the other, we have a very broad range of things that we can study here. A broad range of crops and cropping systems. So there's opportunity to look at just about anything you could want to look at here. For me, the Department of Plant Pathology in the University of Florida is one of the best and they have uh, lead a lot of research in areas that I'm really interested in and areas that can change the world. We have really good faculties, we have really good facilities, labs, uh, field and stations where you can develop a research and then the weather here is really good. Uh, what I've found is like uh, the department has a very strong support system, not only the department but also the university. We have uh, various workshops that we can get involved with. There is a very active uh, plant pathology student organization that was initiated uh, back. And uh, it has really helped the students to communicate, to grow. And uh, the faculty members are really welcoming, and the, all the staff were really welcoming. And as, a, as an international student, as I came in, it was a home away from home. The University of Florida um, Department of Plant Pathology is one of the best places to be, in my opinion, as a plant pathologist. So this department has um, a large um, variety of faculty that are new in their career or late in their career that are working on really diverse topics. And, and with that comes a, a large group of graduate students. I think this is one of the largest departments in the country, which means I have about 60 peers that I can work with or um, interact with. And with having so many other graduate students, we have lots of opportunities. So we have lots of professional development events. We have lots of opportunities to practice our, our um, public speaking. We have lots of opportunities to um, visit different career um, situations for graduate students. So I think as a, as a Plant pathologist, this is one of the best places to be if you're if you're going to be a graduate student because there is such a diversity of, of people and that really um, enriches your experience. Our College of Ag and Life Sciences has incredible teacher training opportunities, um, as does the university level. So we have these two layers of entities here that are both focused on providing all kinds of teaching support and teaching training. If you're looking to learn how to better communicate your science, uh, whether it's an extension setting or a grower setting or a business setting or an, you know, an academic setting, um, we have great opportunities here for developing those presentation and teaching skills as well. It's an opportunity to really bridge the, the more basic research that goes on at a university to the actual constituents that we're ultimately doing that research for, to the people of the state of Florida, the people of the United States, and even beyond. We have opportunity to have people's careers dedicated to translating science from what goes on in the lab and what goes on in these controlled environments to what's actually getting used out in the field. I think it's a fascinating career opportunity for the people who are good at translation. I believe that this department has really institutionalized itself as like one of the leading department not nationally and internationally in, in the field of plant pathology. I'm originally from Nepal. I was in an agriculture undergraduate and we saw a lot of plant diseases that were affecting uh, the growers. A disease would damage uh, a lot of their uh, crop production. So I saw that kind of impact and how as a plant pathologist I can help uh, subsistence growers to make uh, those productions. After that, I got involved at, uh, at the University of Florida in this department, and it has really helped me to grow myself and learn uh, what different uh, avenues I can pursue, how I can go into and helping different growers and um, addressing these uh, big challenges. The importance of plant pathology, you know, we need food security. So in order to feed the world in 2015, the food production have to increase for like 50%.
with the environment change, we have less land that we can plant stuff. So for plant pathology, we are making an uh, impact for uh, food productions and we are trying to feed the world.